I think deep down, all of us desire growth. Just think about the yearly ritual of a New Year's resolution. Every year, we come up with new goals and tell everyone that this is our year for change. Most of us forget about them soon after, but it's a part of our culture. You see, once we have our basic needs met, like most of us, probably including you watching this video, we pursue self-actualization. We want to do something with our potential. There's a key idea that's allowed me to pursue my own growth, and that's growth mindset. This idea was invented by Stanford professor of psychology, Carol Dweck. Through her work, she discovered that certain kids view difficult problems as fun challenges rather than indications of weakness. These kids had a growth mindset. Growth mindset means believing that your talents and abilities can be cultivated through effort, good teaching, and persistence. That certain commonly assumed fixed qualities like intelligence or creativity, or even relational capacities like friendship and love can be cultivated through effort and deliberate practice, which makes complete sense to me from a neuroscience perspective. Our brains have this beautiful mechanism of neuroplasticity which is just a fancy way of saying that our brains have the ability to change, which means a growth mindset is always available to us at any age. We're always open to grow and get better. At the heart of what makes this so exciting is that you start building a passion for learning rather than a hunger for approval. All successful people, whether aware or not, have adopted this mindset. It's a necessary condition for success, but it's not sufficient. You still have to put the work in. But there's another key component to why adopting a growth mindset is so valuable and it relates to motivation and happiness. They say success is not a destination, it's a journey. And if success is about the journey, then you should be rewarded along the journey. This is where the molecule dopamine comes in. Dopamine is usually associated with getting a reward, but it's actually released when you're recognized that you're on the right path to a reward. So if you take steps, no matter how small, towards your goals, you'll still get that pleasure from dopamine. This means you don't need to get everything in life to be happy. You just need to pursue growth. When I first started YouTube, I placed my own rewards on an outcome, being whether a video did well or not. Then after posting, I would feel a short high followed by a residual low for multiple days as I search for the next video topic. I now realize that in placing the emphasis on the outcome of a video rather than the process, things like writing, editing, I was inevitably going to feel that low and hence less and less motivation. If I never realized what I was doing to myself, then I might have just thought that YouTube wasn't for me and quit. This is why it's so key to adopt a growth mindset towards your personal goals. If you place your emphasis of a reward on an outcome, then you're setting yourself up for disappointment. You see, the secret to growth and motivation and even happiness along the journey is already inside of you. You just got to tap in. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching that video. I wanted to get my thoughts out on growth mindset. It's been a key concept helping me in my own journey and I just wanted to share it because I think it's so valuable. It's so revolutionary when you start to apply it. You just feel more fulfilled at the end of each day while pursuing whatever you want to pursue. Now, if this interested you, I'm going to make a follow-up video to this where I discuss the steps to developing a growth mindset and I'll either be in the description when I have that up or I'll link it somewhere. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you're looking to grow out there, then I think that adopting a growth mindset towards your personal goals is only going to help you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.